Hi everyone, my name is Serge Beck. I'm the founder and CEO of Therion Labs. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit on my background. Um, I started late 90s as a database administrator, Oracle, object oriented DBA. Worked um, in the banking sector for, for a while uh, and then decided to move on to web development and started uh, in front end development with uh, companies uh, Merrill Lynch. Bear Stearns and work in banking sector with private uh, um, private bank, uh, Republic National Bank and HSBC Bank. Was working all my life in financial and uh, very familiar with the uh, applications on the back end and the front end as well. What happens today in the market is extremely uh, familiar with what was doing 15 years or 10 years ago. Uh, as a database administration, as a, as a web development. Um, I also built uh, for Merrill Lynch uh, digital dashboard back in, in the beginning of 2000, as well as the instant messaging system uh, within the company, between the uh, brokers and the trading floors. Uh, then I decided to move uh, to the uh, entrepreneur venture and build uh, four companies. My previous company that I was involved as a seed investor in my family. My nephew runs his HyperCorp, which is the fifth cybersecurity company in the world right now. Our client is Samsung and MasterCard. And my latest product is uh, Optarium Labs, uh, which we would like to do. Uh, we would like to give you some ideas what, uh, what our vision uh, in near future in blockchain environment. Um, our approach is different from what we have heard. There is a public blockchain, there's a private blockchain, and there's a multi-decentralized private blockchains network. It's a completely different animal. I'll get to that very shortly, but um, I just want to give you some synergy of blockchain solutions first. Um, that's me, and this is where we're at. We incorporate in, in Europe. We have license in Europe, uh, crypto to fiat, uh, fiat to crypto as well as the e-wallet. We have established a relationship with uh, uh, SEC in the United States. We are Reg, Reg D exempt, uh, registered in the United States. We're able to get the, uh, all accredited investors on board. Um, we believe we're a new blockchain standard, which I will basically get into the, the detail. I won't be able to give you a great details. It's a patent technology, but I'll give you 35,000 feed view of what we're doing. Once again, it's patent technology. We're a member of Linux and Hyperledger and Crypto Valley uh, foundations. Those are the three major issues right now we have in, in blockchain. And in blockchain, the way it is right now is absolutely not useful for financial sector. It's absolutely not useful. Me, as, as being on the Wall Street uh, for a while, and I can tell you right now, 100% guarantee, no financial institution will be able to adapt a blockchain at this point, the way it is right now. It doesn't matter whether it's a private or public blockchain. I'll get to that. So speed, scalability is a major issue right now with blockchains. As everybody knows, the speed of the a Bitcoin, uh, a Ripple, uh, the highest speed right now we see with the Visa card, it's so over 20,000 transactions per second. Security is another issue. With, uh, with the blockchains at this point. Security is, is huge for financial sector. That's why the financial sector trying to distance themselves from the blockchain at this point. But what we're going to do is we're going to integrate traditional economy with upcoming digital economy. So Ethereum is kind of a bridge between new coming uh, economy digital and traditional economy. We're going to seamlessly integrate banks and financial sectors into the digital economy. So this way they don't have to distance themselves. We'll give them solutions so they can just flow in because digital economy is already here. Even though it's not useful at this point, but which will try to uh, make it useful. Usability is another major thing right now. Everybody owns cryptocurrency right now, but everybody just pays uh, a fiat to, to get the lunch at this point. We're going to change that. 
uh, blockchain standard with Ethereum, fast, secure, and usable. Those are the three major things that we are solving in industry to make it adapted to, uh, with day-to-day -day operations on the Wall Street. Uh, we have a dynamic biometrics. Uh, it's a patent technology. I can't say a lot about it, but uh, basically it will get your uh, a specimen of the uh, visuals, voice, fingerprints, and, uh, and secret word, and, uh, and using our modules within ecosystem, verifying your identity. We have over 100,000 transactions per second. It's a way more than right now any application needs. Uh, for example, right now, if 100 million people would use Bitcoin to buy a coffee, it's going to delay and it's going to bring down the Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin's a network at all for two, three days ahead, unavailable, very busy. Uh, key recovery service is another thing that we're providing to all digital uh, uh, community. We're providing them a solution. If you lose your private key with us, it's safe. We can always recover it using your dynamic biometrics. That's very, very big. I want you to, to focus on it. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it does work. Okay, uh, Know Your Customer is another module we're providing that uh, basically we using, once you open an account with us, we're gathering, gathering all your information and we store it in multi-decentralized private blockchain network. I'll talk a little bit later about it, but your information will be here and you do not need to confirm your identity carrying your passport, your credit card, no longer. Aptarium will be able to verify your uh, identity. Uh, Multi-security yeah, multi -security blockchains network is a patent technology. We're holding provisional patent for this. We're in the process doing, uh, and like I said, two, two more patents at this point. Data storage, we have a complete solution for GDPR in European Union. Uh, we're fully GDPR compliant and AML compliant. I'll talk about it later as well. And API for all financial institutions that they don't want to join, for instance, our ecosystem at the same time, they want to use certain functionality of our ecosystem, we can basically provide them, throw them a rope and, and use our functionality. All right, this is what it is, guys. Private blockchains, public blockchains, and multi-decentralized private blockchains network. I want you to take a look at the scalability. At the public blockchain, you get very low scalability. Larger blockchain is slower transactions because if you buy a coffee at this second, you have to confirm all your uh, nodes throughout the world and you have to wait, so it's not usable. Private blockchain gives you moderate scalability. High and multiple levels our technology provides. Data privacy, absolutely there is no data privacy in public blockchain. That's, that's a major uh, component for the uh, financial world and the Wall Street. That's why they're not going to join because of this. Now, if you, for the private blockchain, if you have access to one node, you have access to all data. It's not going to work as well in, in financial world. So private blockchain is also not a solution for the financial world. Data shared between multiple networks, sensitive data is stored in special network. This is how Aptherium stores information. It stores an array of different blockchains and it's a multiple layer of the ecosystem. We're using uh, Ethereum platform to generate ERC20 token. We're using IPFS file decentralizing platform to store majority of the data, heavy data. And then we're storing the points at, at there's a different layers of the blockchains. We're storing uh, points at the blockchain. So we do not store data on the blockchain itself, but the rather we're storing a point to uh, where the uh, data is uh, located in blockchain and re replicating. By the way, the, today's technology is something that what we've been using for throughout the, all our technology world. Distributed ledger is, is similar, if not the same, as mirroring database administration. So me as a database administrator, from one hand, 
we've been doing at the end of the uh, business day, we're doing the mirroring, copying through different service backups in terms of the, the in case of the uh, disaster and recovery situation. It's, it's a distributor ledger. Smart contract today is nothing more, it's just the triggers in database. It's certain condition, certain action needs to be triggered. So that is smart. So it's, it's pretty much reminds me a situation with the, a new fashion. It's a, it's a good forgotten 30 years ago fashion that everybody was was excited about. And um, it's a deja vu from another angle when you have uh, GDPR compliant, everybody goes crazy how to store a user's information based on this new compliance. Otherwise, they're going to get fined 4%, I believe, or $4 million in the price if they don't store users' information properly. It reminds me, the 2000 mainframe, Millennium 2000 programming, I don't know if you guys remember that, everybody was crazy, uh, mainframe writing the codes to be compliant with 2000 Millennium, that's the GDPR. And uh, decentralized meeting is not available at a public blockchain, not available at private blockchain. Opterium technology is a patented technology for sensitive data storage where we're reading data in parallel, which is not available at, the, at neither of those blockchains. Blockchain data archiving. This is very serious what I'm going to show you right now. Blockchain archiving is not available for the public, is not available for private. Archive all and replace with new. This is something new revolutional that I'm showing you right now that does not exist at this point. Let's say you jumped up your uh, a blockchain. What do you do at that point? So if you're using only one blockchain, there's nothing more you can do. You can't erase any data in blockchain. You can't do anything. So in our case, what we do, we're archiving it, we're compressing it, we're putting it aside. At the same time, you will be able to access it and validate certain transactions, and we're creating a new blockchain, fresh, empty, so you can continue using it. Um, let me move next. All right, multi-decentralized private blockchain service. So functionality is split between services, KYC, QRS, and a wallet provided service. Service functionality is split between multiple private blockchains. When you look at the ecosystem of Ethereum, it's blockchain of blockchains. It's a very sophisticated system where it's, it's very difficult to explain within 20 minutes, but I would love to answer any questions at our boot 267 uh, at a certain extent, once again. But uh, it's a blockchain of blockchains. Look at the Ethereum as an operating system of the private blockchains. So we're, going, we're working on an interface, providing interface, which will allow enterprises without knowing even one code how to build a, a blockchain, creating for that particular enterprise a structure of the blockchains within, multi-decentralized. Uh, network can be scaled horizontally. Old blockchain data can be archived and replaced with the new blockchain. Uh, pretty much this is what we have here, sensitive data and storage cluster. Uh, we're storing dynamic biometric documents, accounts in different channels, all stored within certain algorithm that is patented in, in our... Okay. I gotta go fast, I got five minutes. Uh, ecosystem is built for enterprises, guys. Uh, we're not designed for uh, retail, we designed for banks, payment platforms, anyone who wants to create their payment platforms, they can basically reach out to us. Uh, we, we support peer-to-peer uh, -peer transactions, external exchange insurances and hedge funds. We do have solution for hedge funds, custody solutions, which, which is huge in New York. Uh, basically, in New York, if you, uh, have, if you have hedge fund and the portfolio is over 150 million, which is nothing for the hedge fund, you have to inquire for the bid license. So it's nearly impossible in New York to get the bid license. The only four companies got bid license at this point. We do have solutions. All transactions within the ecosystem uh, of Ethereum is multi-signature transactions. It's, it's extremely to understand, extremely important to understand. Multi-signature transactions. API provided service. This is our ecosystem. Uh, as a proof case scenario, we're launching the 
B2B, uh, B2C application, which is mobile app, which allowing user to exchange 10 currencies. It's a multi-signature wallet with the key recovery service, with biometric recovery, key recovery service. 10 currencies you will be able to exchange on your mobile phone. You can also uh, send and receive and, and move your uh, a fiat to a wallet and buy. So it literally becomes your, your bank and you can pay for your coffee for lunch and with unlimited access to, to uh, retail stores using Visa and MasterCard. That's the B, uh, B2C platform. We have the B2B specifically created for exchanges. At this point, all exchanges are centralized and they, uh, you can wait uh, for a Bitcoin transaction if the network is busy for like an hour or two hours. We're providing instant conversion and confirmation for B2B uh, uh, clients. Uh, key recovery service I spoke about. This is decentralized exchange. We're creating a multi-decentralized exchange uh, which is not available at this point. Maybe few claiming that they're de decentralizing, but they're not fully decentralized because you can't decentralize exchange at this point. Maybe certain function you can, but not the fully. Once again, banks can be built on our ecosystem. And this part here, if they don't want to be part of our uh, ecosystem, they can use uh, through API. Uh, data storage, that's basically the levels, how we're storing it, is the different levels and very sophisticated structure how we do it. The KYC data, biometrics, private keys, GDPR solutions, and anti uh, mon uh, money laundering compliance. We are providing storage solution for enterprises, like I mentioned before. Gotta go fast. This is our mobile app. Please stop by the booth. Fully functional mo mobile app using our multi-decentralized private blockchains, key recovery, and uh, all good features that you can you can monitor. You will be able to pay for your utility bills through this mobile app. You will be able to uh, perform a lot of functionality that is not available right now in, in, in most of the mobile apps. Uh, so once again, the e-wallet mobile app, multi-secure technologies is something different right now. Uh, it's, we're providing eight different levels of security without our ecosystem, with our ecosystem. Digital assets, uh, decentralized wallet, data storage, and multi-signature transactions. User has one key on the mobile device. Another key is being in the cold storage, saved another key we, we have in the, in the blockchain. Once the transaction is performed, we're taking user signature, we're verifying user through our services. It's, it's like you use safe deposit box, two keys out of three, you open it, boom, you're in. It concerns any kind of transactions, and we're creating the private information for each individual user as an asset. You will hold it, you will have it within ecosystem.